You may have camped or canoed here, and environmentalists fighting to protect this pristine piece of Minnesota just got a big win. Today, the Biden administration closed off hundreds of miles of land around Ely to mineral leases. The move blocks a proposed mine near a lake that flows into the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. But some of the outrage is ironclad. Several groups say that part of our state needs those mining jobs. WCCL's Alan Henry is digging into both sides of the debate tonight. It's all about this. Uh, it's all about the clean waters. A celebratory mood Thursday afternoon inside the offices of Friends of the Boundary Waters Wilderness. The environmental group celebrating the Biden administration's decision to close off more than 225,000 acres of federal land to mining. We are protecting the boundary waters from catastrophic uh, disasters that sulfide mining would bring to, to Minnesota. Not everyone is celebrating. The local 49 union called it a devastating blow to the iron range. Twin Metals, the company behind a proposed mine near Ely, said they were deeply disappointed and stunned. The National Mining Association called it nonsensical, with Mining Minnesota saying it was short-sighted. You know, mining is our past, our present, and our future, and uh, Joe Biden just attacked our way of life. Republican Congressman Pete Stauber, who represents northern Minnesota, says he'll urge the new Congress to take action and push back on the decision. In the House majority, uh, I'm on the Natural Resources Committee. We, we, we are committed to holding this president, his administration, the U.S. Forest Service, and the Secretary of Interior responsible for this devastating decision. One reason why supporters of the decision say their work is not yet done. Legislative protection of the Boundary Waters would be more protective than this administrative action. And that's why here at Friends of the Boundary Waters Wilderness, we're working with many allies to, uh, to protect uh, the Boundary Waters and Lake Superior. Alan Henry, WCCO. For news. Environmental groups are pushing for legislation at the state capitol called Prove It First. The law would require mining companies to prove their methods have safely worked in other areas before it could come to Minnesota.